I'm getting ready for our road trip to Daytona. Unfortunately, my husband's grandfather passed away, so we are going down to pay our respects. Um, due to COVID, I won't be attending with the children. I will be uh, the babysitter at home <laughs> watching the little ones while my husband go and uh, pay his respect to his grandfather. It's about six hours, so we need to have some snacks. So these are the different snacks that we're bringing. My kids love Lucky Charms. So I'll be uh, putting these inside little bags and taking them along. I'm gonna put everything in quart bags so that they're accessible to the kids and then they're easy to toss. So I like to provide individualized portions so that when I'm passing them out to the kids, all I have to do is just, you know, already do grab a bag and it's already ready to go. And the bag's ready. I'm probably going to make, uh, let's see, uh, four bags like this because we do have other snacks that are going, but this is definitely one of their favorites. They love this. It's like candy to them with the marshmallows. Take the air out. There we go. There's more Lucky Charms at the grandparents' house, so I don't have to make a whole lot of bags because there's some and we'll probably take it home with us because we don't know the next time that we'll visit. We were just there for Thanksgiving and we didn't know that we would be back so soon, but even though it's an unfortunate time, I am glad to be back and to see my my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, call them my parents too, because they're so awesome. They didn't have the small box of these at the store and I'm kind of glad I did opt for the big box because Derek already had like two or three uh, bowls of cereals today. I couldn't believe it. Oh my goodness. I always make an even number of treats for the boys. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. Because I, I try to treat my boys equally as possible. And then for the adults, I have some barbecue chips. And I do the same thing with some barbecue chips. And I do the same thing for us. I put them in individualized portions so that it's easy to grab. I'm still new to all of this recording stuff, so please forgive me about the angles. I'm learning, y'all. And then instead of buying the the applesauce in a pouch, I actually have these resealable pouches that I um, purchased so that I can put the fruit in there. So I have the applesauce that I'm going to put in there while we're on the road so that, you know, I can reuse these instead of spending more money on applesauce. And then I also have the uh, mayonnaise oranges. Those are their favorites. Before I give this one, I normally pour, pour out the juice. I'll do that tomorrow and put them in uh, the bags. I'm doing it so that it can stay as fresh as possible on the road. I have bottles of water and also I have a uh, Gatorade powder to you know add some flavor to it in case they get tired of water. I have raisinets for myself. They also like cereal bars. So this is good for in the morning because we're leaving tomorrow morning. And they absolutely love Pop-Tarts, so I have Pop-Tarts. And I know these are the off-brand Pop-Tarts, but I actually like the way they taste better than the actual Pop-Tart brand. Because the Pop-Tart brand tastes like a cracker, and these are thicker and better to me. My husband likes peanuts, so I got him these peanuts. He asked for the honey roasted. They didn't have it, but uh, hopefully he'll like just the regular roasted. And my kids love milk. So I have the single um, serving of almond milk. It'll be interesting to see uh, Braylon use a straw. Hopefully that'll work out. 
and we also will have some tater tots that I'm making tomorrow morning and I will also put them in the little bags like these because the last time we we made tater tots in the morning and we ate on them until we got there and that was a pretty good breakfast we didn't have to stop except once to fill up so that was a really good deal so these are our snacks this is how i prepare them also we'll bring along a uh, hand sanitizer lysol wipes uh disinfectant spray and paper towels because those are really good items for you know travel um i also have baby wipes in the car so those are also good i have a special hand sanitizer for the kids it's from baby organics uh i don't have any more up here it's actually in the car still and it's alcohol free that's why i love it and I, sometimes i use it for myself so i don't want you know any alcohol on the baby's hand so that's why i use that tomorrow also i will add um ice also one more thing i want to show you guys I got this bag from either Marshall or Ross, and it's a freezer bag. So you freeze it, and then you put uh, contents inside. I got these originally for the baby's bottles when they were little, but now that they're older, I'm just going to fill it up with their their juice so it stays cold. And you can put like two bottles in here, so it's awesome. Hopefully this time I didn't forget anything, but if I do, you know, there's stores along the way. Um, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, YouTube. So I've been looking all over uh, social media at just random, you know, activities to do. And I saw one that had um, broken crayons and they used them as uh, like new crayons. They made them into different shapes using silicone molds to try it out my options of doing this in the microwave and then i saw some other people saying not to do that because it can uh blow up in the microwave so i'm not going to do it i'm going to do it in the oven so we'll see how it works so i'm going to remove the wrapping off and then i'm going to put them inside of the silicone mold i will show you what the next step is guys Let's check on it. It's still not ready yet. It's been in there a while. It's starting to melt, but we really don't know what it's supposed to look like. I'm gonna keep it in there maybe for about another five minutes, see what it does. The next step is to put them in the freezer for 30 minutes, let them cool off. And then once they're fully cooled, then we'll push them out and see what they look like. But this is after 10 minutes in the oven. But as I tried to put them in the freezer, they started to shift and spill. So I had to take it back out the freezer and put it onto the counter so I can move some stuff around. And while I was doing that, some of the crayon spilled onto the base of the tray. So I wiped it. And in the process, I didn't see that all of this was going on. So this is melted crayon. And now, even though it's been only a minute or two later, it's like completely hardened. So now I'm gonna, so I YouTubed how to melt crayons. Now I'm gonna have to YouTube how to get melted crayons off. Oh, Lord. So I just took it out of the freezer and I admit I did leave it in there a little bit too long. I actually smelled the, the crayons. I was like, okay, I smell crayons, it should be done. Um, but actually I was cleaning at the same time. So you know how those things go. When you're doing multiple things, sometimes you forget. So I'm about to take them out and see what they look like. So I'll show you when I'm done. And I started to carefully at the corners and, and then in the middle, poke at the mold to release the crayon. And this is what came out. The first couple of times I was a little rough. So some of them broke, but that's okay. They actually came out really, really cute. Well, this one. They actually came out really, really, really cute. Oh, excuse my fingers. They're little penguins. I think the boys are going to love it. Oh, they're so cute. 
yeah next time for a more uniform look you can sort the colors according to a uh, hue which is also a good sorting and math activity for youngsters so that the they'll be more uniform in color but i like color so i like the the mix match it's cute Mm -hmm. Dollar broom from the Dollar Tree is like the best thing. No, you can't eat off the floor. That's nasty. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, back to y'all. All right, you can't eat off the floor. Now that I said I was gonna record him, now he's not cleaning. Hi. You waving? Good. There you go. You feel better now? He even cleaned the the tabletop off. Braylon, sit down in the chair. Go get your chair. No, they're my share. You have to share. It's everybody's share. Yeah. This was supposed to be a, a better way of keeping the chorus done. But no. Braylon was over here in my papers. That's why they look like that. So I'm going to go uh, redo these wires again because this solution isn't working. I actually found some more wires around the house while I was cleaning up. That's why I put those other things over there. I will be putting those up. Those are not connected to anything. That's just me cleaning up. I swear, so many charges around here for electronics. I, I didn't realize we had so many. I found like 20 charges around the house within this last hour. All right, I'm going to finish cleaning and I'll talk to you guys later. While I was grabbing our Instacart from the front door, Derek thought it was a good idea to color Mickey's face. In the wall, but you can still see some of it is right there. <laughs> the best way to get rid of it is actually shaving cream, and I'm going to show you how. Shaving cream for about five or ten minutes. He just woke up from a nap. He's not very happy. So I have the crayon smeared. It works for regular tables. I never tried it on their little table here. We're gonna see if it works. You funny. And it is getting rid of the crayon. It's like magic. Be the booty. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And you don't really have to scrub it either. It's just coming off. Some brands of crayons move, remove faster than the others. I'm not exactly sure which is which because I buy, you know, a variety of crayons. So once it, Derek, please stop. I'm talking. When our mommy is talking, you wait. Okay. What do you say? I say, I say, be quiet. No, you say I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Good job. You want to go dance? See, look. Oh, no, it's nice and clean. Nice and clean. I'm so cleaning this spot right here. This is a little bit more stubborn, but as you can see, it's already gone. And I never tried it on a wall, so we're going to see how it works. And it works on a wall too, but not as good as on the table. Dada! Mama! Dada! Mama! Dada! Mama! Wait for it! Dada! Mama! Whoa. <laughs>